We started from the ground up with Sierra's interior design, and what we ended up with is totally new and obviously refined. It sets a new standard for the segment, and you'll notice that as soon as you open the door. Functionality is enhanced with an upright instrument panel that places controls higher for better visibility and access and groups them into pods. Knobs and buttons are larger and easier to read. Plus, they feature rubber coating for easy grip. On SLE trim and above, the interior look is enhanced with soft touch finish on the IP and upper door trim, set off with real aluminum trim. The new 6 gauge cluster increases graphic visibility, and the driver information center is now a 4.2 inch color screen or 3.5 inch monotone on the base Sierra. We also used ambient lighting to highlight all the functional areas. The steering wheel on SLE and SLT is leather wrapped with cruise and audio controls. Plus, SLT buyers can opt for a heated steering wheel. Seating has received a revamp, too. The new standard front seat is a 40-20-40 split high-wear cloth bench with a fold-down armrest with storage on both Sierra and SLE. SLEs also get under-seat storage. The standard SLT seat continues to come in leather, but is now a 40-20-40 bench seat. High-wear cloth bucket seats are standard on all-terrain and available on SLE. Leather buckets are offered on SLT. And for the first time, our cloth seats are available with heat. All leather-appointed seats are also heated. To aid in entry and exit, there's an assist handle on the passenger side A-pillar. And a driver side assist handle is available as an accessory. The new front seats incorporate stronger dual-density foam that holds its shape better reducing wrinkles that can form in the bolsters over time. Plus, the foam provides great comfort. And in vehicles with the optional bucket seats, we provide ambient lighting for this configuration's newly designed center console. It is packed with the level of detail and content that you won't see on most luxury cars. It's literally a mobile office. A large bin holds hanging files or a laptop. The cup holders are removable. There are side map pockets, multiple USB ports, multiple auxiliary power outlets, an available new 110 volt outlet, and a cord management system. There are even dedicated cell phone locations, either in a slot up front or inside the console. In fact, we improve storage, convenience, and functionality throughout the interior. The overhead console includes a new sunglass holder. The doors include storage for multiple bottles, and there's now upper door storage in all trims except base regular cab. And the dual glove box continues to provide great storage options and is now standard on all trim levels. The advanced, refined design is also seen in the crew cab rear seat. Here's Chris Hiltz, creative design manager, to explain. One of the things we focused on on the crew cab was to gain almost an additional two inches of, of clearance in the, in the back of the cab. We did that by sliding the rear seat more rearward, reworking the configuration. Although the cab didn't get any bigger, we seemed to gain some more space. We also reclined the seat back just a bit, the angle of the seat back, which again made the customer feel a little bit less upright and a little bit more relaxed. The moving of the B-pillar also allows for a full four inches more foot swing when entering the crew cab's rear seat. Rear seat storage is also refined. Cup holders are now located in the doors, which creates a new storage space behind the center floor console. Finally, a new power sliding rear window has an integrated rear window defogger. It's available on SLE and SLT.